Well, you guys did it. We finally reached 1,000 subscribers. So, as promised, I already released my special thank you video in the form of a kind of a channel movie trailer. Uh, you can see that guy right there, who it is. Uh, and I'll also leave it in the end card as well. But for the other videos that I promised to do, I was going to go through each of these cubbies and talk about the albums that I have in there. And first up, I'm going to start with this cubby right over here. And how I structure my music is mainly by feel, uh, by genre, by feel. So, I mean, most of my records are progressive rock, uh, but as we all know, progressive rock has many facets to it. So let's talk about some of the more heavy metal that we have here and some of the offshoots of that. So let's dive in. Okay, so uh, the first artist that I cover or uh, that I have in the cubbies here and kind of to start it all off is Porcupine Trees. So I'm not going to talk too much about these specific albums. I'm just going to show uh, and I'm going to move over here so that I can show you the albums. So we have the first Porcupine Tree album on the Sunday of Life as well as the second album from them up the downstairs, both incredibly trippy space prog. Uh, then we have The Sky Moves Sideways, one of my favorites by the band. That's when they started to dip their toe a little bit into the harder stuff. We then jump a couple of albums into Light Bulb Sun, as well as its follow-up uh, Stupid Dream. Uh, this one is still one of my favorites by the band, uh, just with Stupid Dream and just the trip that it goes through. And then we skip a whole bunch, or at least the next two, and I'm sad to say that we skipped those. Uh, but we do have Fear of a Blank Planet, probably the major masterpiece that they have. Um, and finally, I'm going to actually take this guy out because this is where it would fit in. I have the box set of the live performance that they put out right after uh, Fear of a Blank Planet. Anesti? I can never pronounce that. Anesthesiaize. Anesthesiaize. Uh, yeah, so it's got the entire Fear of a Blank Planet as well as Neil recurring. Uh, and then some of the standout tracks like Dark Matter, Drown With Me, Cheating the Polygraph, Half-Life. Fantastic live recording, probably one of my favorites from Porcupine Tree. Next up we have Stephen Wilson's solo career starting off with Insurgents, uh, the first one. The follow-up with Grace for Drowning. Um, yeah, this this just moved me. Uh, then we have The Raven That Refused to Sing, an amazing, amazing album. Uh, in my mind, probably his best. Um, and then we have Hand Cannot Erase, as well as the EP of four and a half, three and a half, four point five, something like that. A really great addition. Uh, so that is all of the Porcupine Tree and Stephen Wilson stuff. Now, a logical progression from there is the Opeth side of things. So for Opeth, we start off with Orchid, their first album. And then we go to Morning Rise, the second one. And then finally, My Arms, Your Hearst, or what is that? Yeah, My Arms, Your Hearst, that's right. Um, and actually, it wasn't until I got the full disc that I realized that there's a face there and it's really creepy and it's all like ghost in the shadows type of thing. Then we finally get the connection into Steven Wilson with the albums that he helped produce, master and mix. Uh, the first one being Blackwater Park. Then kind of the double albums of Deliverance as well as Damnation. Uh, I actually like Damnation a little bit more just because of how creepy it is. Uh, then we get to possibly my favorite album from Opeth which is uh, Ghost Reservoirs, uh, and I actually got this one as a red disc, and let's actually pull that out to see. I think I got it as red. Yeah, I got it as like that blood red, uh, and it's really cool because you can kind of like see through it. Uh, I wish I had gotten the brown because the brown matches the album cover a little bit more than the red. I feel like red matches more for still life, uh, but still color vital, not going to complain too much. Uh, then I have the live performance of the Roundhouse Tapes, which is always fun. And this is actually, this next album uh, from them is one of my first full vinyl albums. I got this back when it was first released, and that is uh, Watershed. Um, this, as I said, is one of my first albums, and you can see how old it is with the, uh, the vinyl imprint there. I played this way too many times. Then we get the Divergent, Divergent album, or the, I guess the true watershed of the uh, the album, which is Heritage. Uh, still some fantastic moments on this side. I know it splits the fans. 
then we come to even though I say that uh, Ghost Reservoirs is my favorite, I think actually this one might be Pale Communion, just with how proggy it is. I love me some prog. Uh, and then finally we have uh, their latest one of Sorceress. And that is all the Opeth albums that I've got. Next up, after all that, we have Between the Buried and Me, and the first album I have from them is actually Alaska. I don't have a lot of their previous one just because they're a little bit too crazy within the, the metal uh, and not too much on the prog. And Alaska is where they started to really try their hand at prog. And speaking of, we have their full born progressive technical metal album of colors as well as the live performance of Color. I got this one on the uh, International Record Store Day three or four years ago. Anyway, a great performance. Uh, then we also have my one of my favorite albums from them, uh, The Great Misdirect, which kind of gets overshadowed because it's sandwiched between their two kind of biggest Goliaths. Uh, but I love Swim to the Moon. It's probably my favorite album or favorite song by them. Uh, then we have the Parallax sequence, part two. I wish I had Parallax part one, but you know, I just haven't been able to find it. And then finally, we have Coma Ecleptic, the latest album from them. Uh, still not quite sure how I actually feel about this one, actually. Not gonna lie, I'm not, no, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. Next up, we have one of my favorite sludge metal acts. Uh, I've got um, Baroness. Uh, yellow as well as green. It's the double disc that they put out, yellow and green, as well as their latest release of Purple. Uh, purple is what I first heard from them, and then I went back and I just fell in love with uh, yellow and green. Next up, we have the Canadian uh, progressive metal band, although I don't know if they would actually call themselves progressive metal uh, as more of just like straight up metal and that is protest the hero's volition i my favorite album from them is actually fortress but i haven't been able to find it uh so i do have their latest one and it's got a lot of really really fun stuff on it next up and the last um artist to be featured in the first cubby here is mastodon and i have not as many albums as i hope um, but you know i'm still kind of collecting so the first one i have from them is leviathan beautiful beautiful album um just love it uh, then we have it's kind of in the running for my favorite the jury's still out as my favorite uh crack the sky uh this is actually what got me into mastodon if it wasn't for this album i probably wouldn't really care too much about them but this album just did it for me and i love it uh next up we have the hunter People are split about this album. I dig it. I like it. Uh, not as not my favorite album from them, but definitely has some really, really tasty stuff on it. Uh, then we have Once More Around the Sun, another album that's kind of divisive. I enjoy it. I actually like it more than The Hunter. Uh, it has some of my favorite songs from them, uh, but it is kind of all over the place thematically, so I'm not quite sure. The jury's still out. Uh, and then finally we have their latest album and I was talking about it in a previous uh, video uh, as well as I reviewed it, um, The Emperor of Sand. This is the other album that's kind of running in my favorite albums from them. Just a beautiful album, one that I love and I don't know if it gets the love that it deserves. Hopefully it will mature with age. We'll see how it goes. And then finally, being the last album of this, I have The Congregation by Leprous. This is one of my favorite new progressive rock bands or progressive metal uh, bands out there kind of kind of dipping their toe into the gent a little bit but I love how darkened they are and how gritty they are uh, and this is my favorite album from them and I'm really looking forward to their next one so that is all the albums that I have in the first cubby next up we'll take a dive into the next cubby that one starts off in a progressive metal <clears throat> vein and then kind of ends up in a stranger vein so look out for that i'll post that next week uh but that's it about it from now uh what did you guys think which one was your favorite album from the bunch uh let me know of your own comments down below thank you guys once again so much for all of your um kind words because uh so far everybody's been saying how nasty youtube comments have been uh, but I have felt nothing but love and joy and uh, enthusiasm from you guys. So please keep it up. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, so yeah, that's about it from me. Uh, thank you guys as always for watching. You guys are definitely the best. And until next time, notes out. Mm -hmm.